Hello and welcome to the Climbing Daily Wednesday news show. Uh, Teresa. Oh, right. Yeah. I mean, uh, you are so. in the hot seat currently. Okay. Getting here. Hi. You, yeah, hey. Hey, how's your holiday? Go? Hi. You know, this is, this is funny. This is awkward, this isn't is it? Why are, you, why are you here? Um, because I got a shirt. So, you got a shirt. <laughs> you got an Octelic shirt. <laughs> to be so fair, yeah, just come could, in here and you know. take my. Is this all right? I don't know. Look, we said last week you could fight, and I still think you should fight, but obviously not physically. We're not like that. But uh, no. rock, paper, scissors? Rock, paper, scissors. Should we go? Okay. For the future of this channel. This is a huge moment. Oh, yeah. gosh. All right. Three, two, one. <laughs> you've you've oh, no, immediately. Right, that's count, that's gone wrong. No, you count. Right, so boom, 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 go. go yeah, all right. Yeah. All right. All right. Boom, sorry, hang on, oh, boom, boom. I forgot to boom, boom, I forgot the boom. All right, ready? Yeah. Boom, 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 go. Oh! teresa has got it. Scissors. Oh, God, no. Bye-bye, everybody. It's been fun. Oh, there you go. Good luck. Thanks. Okay, look, Hugo is not gone forever, of course. Teresa, you're going to be taking over his spot on the main news show, but Hugo will be back. He's going to be the voice of reason, the expert, and in fact, he's turning up in this show in a couple of minutes. Yes. So Hugo fans out there, do not worry. We've still got your Hugo back. <laughs> okay, so let's kick off with uh, comp climbing news, and we've been streaming the Austrian Summer Series Cup on the Epic TV YouTube channel, and round two happened last week. The Austrian Summer Series is taking place in Innsbruck, Austria, with athletes competing from around Europe. In the women's comp, it was Austria's Johanna Faber who continued her form from the first round by grabbing another win. She's on a roll! It was a close run thing though, with Swiss climber Petra Klingler pushing her to the end, gaining second, and Jesse Piltz coming in third. In the men's comp, it was Austria's Georg Palmer who gained control early and kept his lead, with Sasha Lehmann keeping the pressure on in second, and Jakob Schubert in third. So that competition has been streaming live on the Epic TV YouTube channel. And But don't worry, if you don't want to sort of hack through two hours of replay footage, we have put the highlights up, so the men's winners and the women's winners, on Climbing Daily. So you can go back and just sort of see their journey through the competition. But newcomers is the thing I'm taking away from it. Johanna Faber, like, where did she come from? She's absolutely crushing it. Yeah, and George beating Jakob Schubert? Yeah, I, mean, I didn't know who George was. Oh. Mr. George wait. Palmer, sorry. Uh, well, they just like have been training hard during quarantine, and I guess the best climbers came out of quarantine stronger than ever. Yeah, they're sort of chomping at the bit, aren't they? It's kind of like they haven't had comp climbing, they've got comp climbing yeah. now, and it's like, boom, let's do this. It's, it's cool to see it back again. And about somebody else who's been training hard during quarantine, Belgian climber Sebastian climbed a really hard multi-pitch in the Dolomites. Belgian climber Sebastian Berte made a single-day repeat of Bella Vista. The multi-pitch established by Alexander Ruber on the Cima Ovis di Lavaredo in the Dolomites, with difficulties estimated in the region of 8B plus and 8C. Sebastian climbed with David Leduc and probably pulled off the fastest repeat so far, with Berthe sending the 8B crux pitch on his second go. He describes it as one of the craziest pitches he's ever climbed, 55 meters of traversing on overhang and sustained climbing on good holds. So Sebastian, he's not new to multi-pitches. I mean, he climbed the nose and a couple of weeks ago, La Voix Petit mm -hmm. eh, on the Grand Capucin. So now in the Dolomites. Yeah, I reckon it's a good time for mountaineering because we've got this yeah. sort of quite stable conditions over the Alps, but it's still cold, so everything's not falling down yet. Uh, and sort of sticking with the mountaineering theme, uh, on the wild side of the Mont Blanc Massive in Italy, a new multi-pitch has been ticked. Matteo Della Bordella, Francois Cazzanelli and Francesco Ratti have put up a new route on the red pillar of the Brugliard. With difficulties up to 8A, this is a stunning new line found and pioneered by Matteo in a truly wild area. Federica Mengola and her climbing partner Leo sent it in a day, staying at the Eccles hut. So awesome multi-pitch line, but also surely one of the fastest repeats of a multi-pitch line. Um, Federica, I was actually up in that mountain region when she was doing it. She was planning to stay for two days, did it in a day, <laughs> got back to the little baby hut and was like, all right guys, I'll see you later. <laughs> Went off down the valley for a beer. So I'm very jealous of her, but nice send. Congratulations. And Matteo for finding the thing. Yeah, well, crushers. And about girls mm. crushing it, uh, Alex Butcher's is back with another 8B. Alex Buccio has repeated Double Ganger Poltergeist, an 8B boulder in the Rocky Mountain National Park. It's her fifth 8B in the last two months. Come on, Alex. Come on. Come on. 
So awesome, another ascent by Alex. And there's an uncut video of her send on her Instagram page. And you can see her chalk bag getting caught at an uh, not ideal moment. Well, so it gets hooked on the rock as she's climbing. A little bit. It. She's like, she wrote, it was like on the last jog, but still, you don't want something to really like oh, man, I would get lose caught. My, I would lose, if I'm on a jog at the end of like a hard route and something like that happens, I'd, yeah, just, just I'd like, have disco Ooh. legs, I'd have everything. I'd just be like, come, someone help me. <laughs> That was a weird face. Um, more bouldering news now, uh, and it's good to see Stasha Gero back from injury. Stasha, who has been recovering from a nasty knee injury and surgery, has returned to outdoor climbing. Stasha took a trip to Magic Wood, and despite, by her own admission, not being an outdoor climber, she sent Jack's Broken Heart and 8A+, amongst other climbs. Also on a roll is Brooke Rabatou and Natalia Grossman, who have both climbed the boulder, the Shining, an 8A slash 8A+. They both sent the route quickly, despite the pond that was beginning to get bigger at the bottom of the climb. So cool to see Stasha back. We were there when she hurt her knee originally in studio block. She's been working super hard on rehabilitation. She had that surgery. She's back on Real Rock, and I can't wait to see her climbing indoors soon. Yeah, it's good to see her back. And next up, crushing kids in Spain. 10-year-old climber Theo Bass, who did an 8C in June, has done Ixeya 8B+, in Rodear, Spain. He spotted the line a year ago and was dreaming about it ever since. He just needed 6 to 7 sessions to send it. So, Matt, how much do you hate slash admire this kid? <sighs> yeah, thanks, Hugo. Uh, this is an ongoing thing. Look, I, it's not much I don't admire him. I just dislike his age and his talent and his skill um, because I have a lack of all of those things. So, you know, it's not a hate, it's just a, it's slightly a hate. Okay, it's a hate, Hugo. All right, fine, fine. <laughs> just looking at me with judging, judging I mean, eyes. You know, he probably worked really hard for it. Oh, I'm sure he did. Great, what? with his talented little thing. Anyway, right, uh, we are talking about Adam Andra now, uh, who is potentially the GOAT. And he's been a bit quiet recently, but we've now seen him come back with a bang. Adam has climbed two 8C slash 8C pluses, which were on site and the first ascent. He's also been sending 9As, climbing Orca and 9A and Walk the Line, also 9A, both in Austria. Okay, so there was no pictures or video. Usually we put stuff up over my voice because I couldn't find any pictures or video, which means I reckon that we're going to see YouTube a YouTube. Video. Exactly, yeah. Because he's, he's big on the YouTube. He's a YouTuber. He's yeah, chasing he us. Well, he's just done one in like Arco and stuff. I'm climbing in Italy. So. The castle thing. Yeah, well, that was like last week. Matthew, keep I'm up. Not up to date. I can't, I can't. There's a lot of vloggers out there now. <laughs> what am I meant to do? I've only got so much time. Um, there was something else I had to say about this. Oh, yeah, which is how on earth can you get an 8C first ascent on site? I don't get it. But it's Adam. He's done. So that's the answer. Okay, yes. <laughs> just Adam. Just Adam Andra. Do you need to say anything else? That's a good point. I will. I will shut up. It's just, I've just never sort of seen that that on-site first ascent thing. So he kind of mm. like he turned up. He had a look at a route. No one's climbed it before, so we didn't really know. And then he first ascends it. And then apparently he upgraded it as well because oh. <laughs> someone like suggested a grade. And he up. I. It's it's Adam, I suppose. It's Adam, and like yeah, I guess the routes were. If somebody else tried the routes, they probably talked about the grades as well. Yeah. He proposed a little upgrade, which is unusual. Well, for Adam, yeah, usually he's a is he downgrader, right? isn't he? Yeah, yeah. he's sick. Adam, are you okay, oh, mate? Adam. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. <laughs> but uh, about 9As, I said last week we need a little new segment mm -hmm. uh, because there's just too many people climbing too many 9As. So here are a couple of highlights. Dave Graham sent Auto Engaño 9A in Rodear, Spain, bolted by Spanish climber Danny Andrada back in 2008. Dave said he took some adjusting to the steep and powerful style of climbing, which is quite shocking compared to the tacky, crimpy walls of Siurana. Slovenian climber Domen Skofic has done the first ascent of Umentnost, proposing the grade of 9A. He describes it as the best hard line in Slovenia to date. Laura Rogora, who has qualified for the Olympics, reports on Instagram that she has done the 9A route, the bomb, in Colle Pardo, Italy. The route was freed by Fabrizio Peri right before lockdown. So, Laura, back on our counters. And with this route, I think she's done more than like, definitely more than 10 9A routes. Yeah, and this definitely. year especially, she seems just on fire. Yeah, she's winning it. 
You said there were lots of nine A's, right? Because we yes. were going through this before the show. So many more. Like what? Ten we found. Uh, I think I think ten or more. Yeah. So look, we sort of picked the highlights Sorry. out of it. We could not cover them all. There are lots of yeah. nine A's being sent, guys. Just you know, be less good, please. And I also tried to pick the names I can pronounce. <laughs> How did that go? Badly. <laughs> All right, uh, another gentleman sending hers is Drew Ruana. Uh, I always say that weirdly, I don't know why. Drew Ruana, Ruana. 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 Uh, but he's back once again, some more AC action. Drew has made the second ascent of a Daniel Woods test piece, Box Therapy, an 8C+. It's a sit start to a previous Tommy Caldwell 8A, and it's got 18 moves on a 50 degree wall. So Drew sort of moved away from competition climbing a little bit into this outdoor world more and I mean, it's paying off. It's absolutely crushing because he did Sleepwalker. You know, that other 8C+. Plus. Um, uh, the um, Jimmy one. Yeah, the one yeah. with the horrendous, like, bah, move yeah. left. That one. That's the only way I can describe it. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, he's on form. Nice one, Drew. Oh, that was a big news show, right? Counter. Yes, counter. counter. time. Counter time. <laughs> All right, uh, if you guys are watching this, you're probably about to see Teresa's wonderful spreadsheet document uh, of the 9A counter stuff. But we kind of we kind of messed up last week. Yeah, I mean, it was in the 9A, 9A roundup of, of Mina. Yeah. Uh, oopsies. Yeah, we didn't put her in the Did women's 9A it? counter. Apologies, Mina Markovic. Uh, but she's got one point. And yes. then Laura. This week, one point. One point. Right, we've, she's winning, though, She's right? crushing I mean, it, man. She's one, two, three, four, five. I had to count to five by counting then. I, I need help. Uh, five points for Laura way ahead of anyone else I think that's it though no 9Bs no, no no it was wait order there was some discussion about last week yeah but I stuck it on before anyone could discuss oh, right. <laughs> sorry about that uh, yeah done done <laughs> done Finito. hello we said you'd be back I'm back I'm back can you just Is move that, that way right? a little bit on, just out of frame. <laughs> hey. Come on, get back here. Oh, um, so we're talking about medias. Yeah. You want me to talk about medias? I would love you to. You're the media expert on Epic TV. What have we got to look forward to this week? Okay, well, what have we got to look, look, look forward to? Uh, what, we're going to look back first. Okay. We're going to go back to Climbing Nomads, which released last Friday. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a story about them going up by the multi-pitch, the Espelon Central, which is in the Puig Campania mountain in the south of, uh, south of Spain. Uh, it is, um, well, here's a little clip. The easiest line on there, the Espelon Central, is, is HS4B, I think, but 13 pitches of it. So 13 pitches of HS, I think, is pretty sustained. It's pitch after pitch of, of solid HS climbing. The guidebook recommends 10 hours, at least 10 hours of climbing time, but in in November, the time of year that we're here now, you only have 10 hours of daylight pretty much. There's not a lot of wiggle room for things to go wrong. So yeah, once you're up there, you're fully committed. Yeah, so basically that was those guys. Um, that was their third video in the series that they've done. I love us. the series, it's really good. It's good, isn't it? They're yeah, good cool. storytellers. Yes. Uh, so if you haven't subscribed to them, go subscribe to them now. <laughs> okay? Have you subscribed? I have, I have. Have you actually <laughs> subscribed? Have you subscribed? I mean, with Epic TV, right? Yes, yes, on the part yeah. of Epic TV. Have you got a YouTube channel? Yes. Are you not vlogging like Matt yet? <laughs> no, he's afraid I'm going to because uh, yeah, he's going to get you. more views. <laughs> yeah, it's like a younger, better version of me. I, I mean, why would I be followers. scared? I don't. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Terrifying. You don't like young people. I do. That is the truth. <laughs> I feel like, I mean, I like them, just not when they're better than me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, fair uh, enough. Second Meejas is Climbing Daily. Second Meejas is Climbing Daily. Well, you probably know more about it than me. Well, we, people were saying, by the way, in this episode, who was filming? It was you who was filming. I so feel thank indeed. You. It was yeah. good filming. Yeah. We were at the Arcos gym. Uh, Arcos gym, yeah. Post-COVID, sort of post -COVID. I can't say post-COVID. It's not finished, is it? But like post-lockdown. Yeah, we like the gyms are open. We went for a little session. We filmed it. Uh, here's a little clip.
Now, obviously, we had a little climb. Uh, you were filming the little climb, but it was mm -hmm. more about sort of the, the post, like how gyms are coping with it because things it have work? changed. Haven't I'm they? pretty sure regulations are different in most countries. Yeah, that's what that was a lot in the comments. Just like everybody from all over the world, yeah. world telling us how the regulations are in their country. Yeah, but exactly. But here, like, they're fairly standard. Like, yeah. the chalk and then masks. Yeah. Yeah, I did notice there wasn't. Well, there was a. I, I thought there could have been more mask wearing in certain situations. It is a bit of a strange one because you, you have to put masks on coming into the climb wall and in the central bit, but then on the wall you don't. And it's, yeah. I, I think the whole COVID thing, there's, there seems to be some rules that are in place, but you kind of like, fair enough, but everyone's got different rules and it's. I I, yeah, I, I mean, it's difficult, isn't it? But like, I think they were saying that they can't police everywhere. Yeah. Mm. Uh, it's. I mean, to be honest, at the end of the day, it's up to people's responsibility, isn't it? You've got to. Yeah. You, we all have a responsibility. We all have to adhere to that responsibility. Mm. And if you don't, they're going to get you. So this is why we bring you back for this bit. It's the, it's the voice just of like people. reason and like dadliness in the background. <laughs> exactly. Now that I just come back for this part, I am ultra dad. Oh, super dad. Super, Scary. super filmy dad. All right. So thanks. That's super all right. Filmy Can dad. I go now? Yes. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Teresa, you're back in the hot seat. We've are oh, the chairs. There's a chair, uh, chair swaps. swaps. No. Yeah. Okay. I'm just. I'm gonna keep filling. I'm gonna fill it. Uh, there's talk, Hugo talk, coming talk. back Ooh, in. Teresa. Thanks. Hey, Ooh. she's back. We got to talk about shop stuff on the Epic TV shop because we're in the middle of this huge uh, summer sale on the Epic TV shop. Mm -hmm. Stuff is up to 55% off. Don't you need a jacket? I need a jacket. I um, always need a jacket. <laughs> I always need a jacket. <laughs> More jackets. <laughs> no, but there are a couple of good deals uh, for down jackets. So might as well invest in a mountain hardware one. A mountain hardware, nice color. Yeah. Uh, black, because it goes with everything. Is this true? Yeah. I feel like I'm learning fashion tips. I like the Art Terex t-shirt as well. You've got a proper Thanks. fitting one. Yes. <laughs> a gigantic, enormous one, which I used to swim in. <laughs> You've got your own Art Terex t-shirt. Yes. Sponsored. You too. Yeah, mine was slightly... Too, I think it looks like a bit small for me, I feel. Maybe I've just got just more stacked. Just got ripped. Stacked. Yeah, too buffed. Too yeah. buffed. Too buffed. Leave a comment below if I'm too buffed. Oh God, uh, that is... I'm sorry. I, I've left myself open for so much abuse. Uh, that's shop stuff done. Uh, comment, comment of the week. Ooh, what are we doing this week? I want you to sing. I shall not never sing. You shall not never ever <laughs> I'll sing. I'll never sing. You know how you've got a great English accent? I do. Do you fancy at some point us practicing some kind of Mary Poppins style English accent singing? Of course. <laughs> shall I do it? Shall I do, I do I comment do of the week? It? Shall I do in a comment of the week? I think you should like that. I'll, yeah. I'll do Dick Van Dyke in Mary Poppins and you just do your accent, all right? <laughs> My One. accent is better than yours, Matt. How dare you? A lot of people have said it. Oh, right. A lot of people have said it. Right. <laughs> Do you want me to Dick Van Dyke or just normal pop? Uh, I want you to uh, Dick Van Dyke and... All right. <clears throat> right. Comment. Comment of the week. It's comment of the week. I'm Dick Van Dyke. I just enjoyed that. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Extemporized and thought up before your very eyes. Okay, it says from Zom Germs. Didn't read that properly. Zom germs. What is a zom germ? Germs. Uh, it says big F for Matt's pulley. This is my finger thing. I've tweaked, blown, whatever. I don't know what big F is. Big forgiveness to my body for letting me <laughs> down. I think it might be the, the, the naughty word, the F word. Like big. Nah. Uh, but I don't know. I'm not cool enough. I thought you being down with the kids. You know this kind of stuff. You're the ute. I knit. You knit. <laughs> you knit. You actually knit. Yeah, of course. What have you knitted? Why would it be a of course thing? Have you genuinely knitted? Yeah. What have you knitted? I don't know, hats. Can you knit me a hat? No, your head is has a weird shape. That's it's true, <laughs> but harsh. All right, fine. I didn't, okay, we'll discuss this later. We'll discuss the knitting. I could, I could, I don't do anything like that. I don't sew. Uh, do you iron? I do not iron. That shirt is ironed? <laughs> yeah, but it's because it's new. I literally got oh. it out of the bag this morning. It's the only reason it's shiny. Sorry, we've digressed. Uh, your comment? Uh, I've got one from... Jackson van der Kallen. I figured, I don't know how to say properly this name, so as long as like, you know. That, that works for me, yeah, van der Kallen. Van der Kallen. Uh, congrats, you guys just hit 200K, and we have. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Fireworks. <laughs> effects, flow, effects. Yeah, um, we sort of hit it a while back though, didn't we? Yeah, like, no, like two weeks ago, yeah. but uh, thank you to all the new subscribers, and uh, yeah, keep what, watching. What would you say to the people who haven't subscribed, Teresa? Um, they probably just don't know where the button is. 
but it's Three. a big red subscribe button. <laughs> press and the button. Press the button. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. We want to get to 250k really rapidly, faster than Eric Carlson. So You're if not you could, um, or Magnus. aiming high enough. Fine, but please subscribe. 300k. Help us out. Help us out. Uh, I think that's it. It's done. New show. Finito. Si? I say okay. finito a lot. Your Italian finito. influence is... is... Eh, si. Vabbè, ragazzi. Tanto non ce la fa comunque a dire le parole. Però ci provo. Boba di papa! Just showing off now. It's not funny. Uh, welcome to the new show, Full Time. Hugo will be Peace. back. Don't miss him too much. He's going to crop up all the time. Don't worry. And if you're listening to the podcast, thank you for listening to the podcast. Cool. That's it. Cheers, guys. Subscribe. See you later. Check out the sale. Woo! Woo! Nice. All right. Good job. Mm -hmm.